where the House of Representatives has resolved to address incessant attacks against the people of Yagba in Kogi State, allegedly perpetrated by headsmen. The House called on the Inspector General of Police, IGP Kayode Egwetoku, to conduct a thorough operation to mop up all arms and ammunition held by headers and individuals, as well as enforce a ban on public from carrying such. The House, while adopting a motion by Honorable Leke Abejide of Kogi State, urged the Chief of Defense Staff and the Inspector General of Police to identify and profile all persons living with suspicious living suspiciously around Yagba in the interest of security. The Green Chambers also called for a setting up of a comprehensive security strategy in collaboration with stakeholders to address the root causes of insecurity and ensure the safety and well-being of all residents in Yagba Federal Constituency in Kogi State. In another development, the House has requested the Minister of Aviation to direct relevant authorities to exempt members of the armed forces from toll gate and parking fees by, at airports. This followed a motion by Honorable Abdusamad Dasuki who expressed concern over subjecting members of the armed forces to pay for access into airports. Comparable violent attacks and kidnapping have been occurring on a weekly basis, including a prior incident approximately two weeks before the Ejiba incident, where two individuals were abducted from residence of a prominent businessman and political figure named Mr. David Joseph an adoption that tragically resulted in death of one of the victims. Deeply troubled by another recent development on Friday, May 17, 2024, where two persons were ambushed and brutally killed at Ogbe community in Yagwa West local government area of the state. The House also aware that honoring these men and women in uniform and also encouraging fellow citizens to acknowledge their service to the nation is the right step to take as a way to appreciate their immeasurable sacrifices they make. Further aware that honoring those who, fought, who fight for our survival will also inspire our youth to enroll in the military, not as a means of escaping the web of unemployment, but as a valuable call to higher service to the nation. Concerned that members of the armed forces are subjected to paying access to airports where they are also expected to protect citizens and, to, and foreigners alike, whether or not they are on duty and even while they are passengers themselves.